Okay, so the secret of capturing the decisive moment, <laughs> if you're shooting street photography, I found it's very helpful, is to shoot in high burst. Yes, there's more honor in shooting in single point and single frame and capturing the kid jumping over the puddle. <laughs> shooting in high burst is a secret cheat code in getting a person to be right in the perfect spot, for people to kind of walk through like little things that you framed, like doorways or, you know, a lot of times I'll set up a doorway or I'll set up a composition like a doorway or something. And then as soon as someone walks through, I'll high burst and one of the burst shots will capture what I'm looking for. Now, one trade off of shooting in high burst is there's a lot more frames to go through. I took 470 photos in an hour or so. All right, so I'm gonna call the JPEGs and just to show you my settings real quick, this was what all, come on, this is what all the images were shot with, some form of classic chrome. It's, uh, it was based on um, Fuji X Weekly's uh, Kodachrome. I just kind of tweaked it a little bit to be my own Kodachrome. All right, here we go. So to call the images, I'm using Photo Mechanic. It's a app that lets you go through your photos really quickly but you can do this in any of your uh, raw software stuff. And the way I work is I'll label them with a green label. So that is the letter three, <laughs> the letter three. This is Washington Square Park. Uh, there was a garbage truck that went by. Would have been cool, but the stupid car pulled up to the light. Um, I'm gonna grab this one here. And in the fountain area, there were skaters doing some cool tricks. So I liked that the light was behind them. So I'm kind of using their shadows. My idea here was I wasn't going in that pool, I'll tell you that. So I thought that I could crop later to see if they're, see his arms sort of went out here. It's really hard for to focus if the skater is coming at you. So I like to pre-focus. I did a video on pre-focusing as a trick. Um, but I tried to pre-focus on the steps here. Here is another cool, I used to be a skater, by the way. I was a skate rat, watched uh, Back to the Future, and I wanted to be just like Marty. So I bought a skateboard. Then these pigeons just took off like crazy. And I was hoping to get a cool shot of them like going over the arch here. You can kind of see them in the background here, like going nuts. Here we got the birds, baby. Yeah, Nightmare Hitchcock, baby. So, ooh, that one's good. So I'm gonna go back and take the green off that one, and that's my shot right there. I'm gonna grab a couple of these. Now, I was shooting electronic shutter, so it, it's warping a little bit. Um, oh, that's nice. That's pretty cool. Oh my God, we could like Photoshop a million birds everywhere. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab all of these. Okay, so <laughs> these women went by and their outfits were so great and I don't have an awesome shot of them. I, they, when I first saw them, I just saw them from sideways and if I would have run over, I could have maybe gotten a better shot of them. So I, I, my mind was like, maybe I can crop later. Okay, someone crossing the street. Another cool thing about the hack is that when you high burst, you know, uh, one of the cool ways is to freeze when the person's full stride is there. So that usually gives you a better look. And here I kind of high burst a little bit to get the person through that little gap. Now here her leg is kind of touching the bike, so I'm not loving that, so maybe this is the winner. And there she, there she's crossing the post, so that's a fail. Uh, here I wanted an interesting character. Now the guy has red bags. He's wearing black. Uh, so I thought that was pretty interesting. Again, high burst. I, it seems like I shoot three. Pop, 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 three. So here he has a little bit of light on his hat. There he has light on his hat, but here he's coming up a little bit more and then the light is gone from his hat. So I'm just gonna pick the one with the, <laughs> I just wanted a picture of New York gravy. Oh yeah. Um, this is an example of where I saw good light, but no one ever went through the light. I was waiting for someone <laughs> to, to go through that shaft of light and they just never did. Oh, this guy kind of did. High burst, one, two, three, four, five. I took five shots there. There's the hack, and it looks like that's the one. He's got his package, yeah. Okay, high burst, pop, pop, pop. Person, bike is kind of in focus. 
I like it. Let's try it. There she's gone. Ooh, ooh. I got a thing for bikes. And down this little street. Now here I kind of just parked myself and I was waiting for someone to go by that was interesting. Like, gosh, imagine someone like wearing yellow coming through here. But nothing ever happened. I was just there like an idiot. There was good light. There was good color. There was just no good people. Uh, same with this. I had this little scene set up. If you notice the first two are warpy and out of focus, that's why I'm going by them. This is not the best bicycle. I love shooting bicycles in New York, but this one is not interesting at all, even though it has cool rims. Um, the windows are nice, yeah. And then, you know what happens sometimes is people kind of see you, they think you're taking a picture of something else, so they don't walk where they're supposed to walk <laughs> for your cool street photo. Even though this nice gentleman was completely boring. Uh, this was sort of my shot that I was trying to get here. And in post, I probably would change the color of the rims to green. Okay. Uh, cool scene there. Oh, oh, a little, his stride is nicer there. Nice. I'm going to take that stride. Uh, I just saw the whole bicycle thing right here. I'm going to go with that one. Okay, good light, people walking, high burst. I think my only one is that one. I like that the World Trade Center was in the background, and this is one where I might bring the raw in. I like that there's a splash of Bob Ross like leaves in the foreground. I like the light, the people walking. We were waiting for someone interesting. Not so much. This guy with his helmet and this little bicycle. Let's see if I can. <laughs> I don't know if he's in focus. Let's see. Yeah, he's in acceptably sharp focus. Yeah. These uh, scooters looked like they were uh, in a relationship. <laughs> so, And then someone went by. So I did a little high burst action here. Pop, pop, pop. It looks like I burst three again. And there's the hack. Full stride. All right, this woman here had light on her face when she was looking down. So I just took a quick shot. I didn't really have time to frame it. Um, she's a little warpy, so I'm gonna grab two of them. This one's kind of cool. Pizza, woman, cool guy on his phone. And is it a fixie? Single speed, let's check. It is, yeah. It's either a fixie or a single gear, but that's awesome. And so now what I'm going to do is sort of just pick uh, my favorite, maybe like 10 or so, and we'll check those out. Mm -hmm.